San Gregorio, Pescadero, Parisima. These are just a few of the creeks flowing across Midpen lands, and they're the lifeblood of the region. These lands are incredibly essential for our water supply and for the health and well-being of this area. From the ridge lines that frame them to the deep pools that empty into the ocean, these waters support wildlife, agriculture, and us. Maintaining the health of these watersheds is an important part of Midpen's mission. We really are doing an amazing thing by preserving these lands in perpetuity. And it's amazing that we're able to not only do that, but also open them up in an ecologically sensitive way where folks can see them and interact with these environments in a way that um, will allow them to continue into the future. The concept of a healthy watershed starts at the summit because everything that happens at the summit has an impact downstream eventually. The more land we preserve and restore ends up being uh, really beneficial for a range of both ecosystem functions and societal needs. Balancing these many needs is a significant and ongoing challenge for Midpen. There's care and purpose to everything that our staff bring to the land because our intention, our goal, is to leave the land healthier than it was when we first received it. When Midpen purchased what is now El Corte de Madera Creek Preserve, nearly 3,000 acres in the upper headwaters of the San Gregorio Creek watershed, they inherited land that had been carved up with a web of decrepit logging roads and was littered with trash. When we are able to acquire a new, new piece, we look carefully, how can we restore this to really start to bring back the health and well-being of that land? Midpen planters staked out new trails that naturally contoured with the hillsides, and crews decommissioned old logging roads and turned them into gently sloping trails. One of the more important aspects of, of trail design is putting those undulating ups and downs into the trail so that um, the water is not causing the, the problems that it had in the past. The newly formed trails allow all of us to explore this recovering forest land without causing erosion or silting up the creeks and streams downslope. Now the logging roads look like the natural topography. Of all the projects I do, it's one of the most satisfying ones because you're taking these like really terrible roads out of a watershed that needs all the help it can get. It's testament to what can be done after you've inherited a mess of legacy logging roads. Um, it took a long time and it took a lot of funding, but in the end I think everybody agrees that it's worth it and the fish downstream are very happy. Another important Midpen restoration project is in Coal Creek Preserve, just above the community of Portola Valley. It features a major regional trail connection that leads from the valley floor to the top of the ridge. But after decades of use, the trail bed and culverts failed, eroding the hillside and clogging the creek below with sediment. There was water filling all up and the roadway just washing it all out so it's a big ravine and what we hope to do is oversize the culvert and replace it with something brand new. We hope to improve you know, the health of our watersheds here by addressing the sedimentation and keeping the trail in as good of a condition as possible. With the new culvert installed, Midpen narrowed the gash and reopen this popular trail once again. What excites me most about this project is uh, creating safe open space access for more users. I think that with the improvements we're gonna make, we can open up this more safely for more people to enjoy and it will lend to the longevity of the road and the trail. Enhancing these trails and the overall health of nearby watersheds also sets the stage for salmon and trout to return and thrive. 
The San Gregorio Creek watershed um, and other watersheds throughout the San Mateo County coast are critical habitat for anadromous fish species like steelhead trout and coho salmon. And our goal is to uh, restore watershed function and ecological processes um, that will enable the recovery of those types of species. These fish have been absent from local creeks for generations. Now Midpen and one of its public partners, the Resource Conservation District of San Mateo County, known as the RCD, are working to reestablish healthy fish populations here once again. The only reason that their populations have dwindled is because of us. And so it's our responsibility to bring them back from the brink of extinction. Near the town of La Honda, the partners are recreating natural salmon habitat by putting large logs in the creeks to help stabilize the banks, slow down the water, and allow deep, cool pools to form, which salmon need to spawn. It was thought for a very long time that, that wood in streams is bad, that it's a negative and we should be taking it out. And so it turns out that wood adds a really important complexity to stream systems um, that's been lost in historic times. And so by uh, installing these large woody debris structures like the one behind me, uh, we can recreate some of that complexity. It is the culmination of well over 10 years, arguably 15 or 20 years of work to restore the watershed and to make conditions that are hospitable, habitable for the fish. With the watershed on the road to recovery, the RCD and Midpen are reintroducing salmon and trout back into coastside waterways. So not only do we have a responsibility to care for them, but we're also inspired to care for them because it's, it's soulful, rewarding work. Raised in a nearby hatchery, it's hoped that these fascinating but vulnerable fish will return regularly to this creek to give birth to many new generations. And by keeping these watersheds healthy, we can all thrive here side by side for years to come. These landscapes, these open spaces, towering forests, free-flowing streams, and rolling hills, they're all here thanks to the public who created and has supported Midpen over the past 50 years. It's a remarkable legacy, but there's still much more work to be done. Today, we've realized that there is a much greater need to protect these lands, not just for green space and, and vistas and habitat, but for resilience across the entire region. The impacts of climate change are upon us and accelerating at a rapid pace. Sea rise, drought, and wildfires are all growing threats, and work is underway to address them. Climate change has multiple different effects, and Though we don't know exactly sure what's going to be happening in the future in terms of some of the climate change, we are seeing some of the effects now. In recent years, wildfires have become more common and more catastrophic. Midpen's plans include several strategies to mitigate this risk. Here at Midpen, we're going through and thinning out forests, cutting down some of the underbrush, limbing up some of the trees, all in an effort to make it more resilient to fire and to climate change. Fire plays a fundamental role in the health of California's native ecosystems. And before European arrival, landscapes burned on a regular basis. 
Fire is nature's vacuum in a way. Uh, it goes through, uh, it clears out the underbrush, it maintains certain areas, and there are certain species that they absolutely need fire for them to survive. Until recently, most land management plans included a no-burn policy, where efforts were made to extinguish all fires. This resulted in an accumulation of dry, dead trees, limbs, and debris, perfect fuel for fires. There's quote-unquote good fire and bad fire, right? Bad fire, catastrophic, good fire, stays on the ground, burns on through. Um, and that's one of the efforts of our fire program as well, is to reintroduce fire in certain areas that we know it's safe to do so. This good fire is scientifically prescribed and carefully controlled. With lots of preparation and planning, Midpen will begin deploying this tactic in partnership with fire agencies to increase the region's resilience to fire. That controlled burn, putting fire on the ground when it is safe to do so, can really help out the environment by reintroducing fire as a natural process in which the ecology of the area really, really needs. Another climate change concern is sea level rise, where the loss of wetland habitat is threatening the future of endangered species like the salt marsh harvest mouse and the Ridgeways rail. Healthy wetlands for wildlife will also act like sponges, soaking up rising seas and protecting nearby communities from flooding. With rising sea level, the water now is covering areas in which in the past were not being impacted. Midpen is working to protect these valuable wetland environments. One technique that many organizations, including Midpen, utilizes is to create these refugias out in the tidal marshlands in which the soils are higher than what they were before in recognition of sea level rise. And this will provide these additional safe havens for these species. The public is also stepping up to support this important work. If you have one of these, you can come with me. At the Ravenswood Open Space Preserve in East Palo Alto, local volunteers are restoring native shoreline habitat. It feels like I can actually do something to help with the climate change efforts. If you look around, like you see teenagers, you see little children, you see parents like engaging in this work and realizing how important it is for their community and actually showing up and participating. It can be really paralyzing and people will sometimes feel like there's nothing that they could do, and I think this provides an outlet for people to get involved in their like local park and have a change on the land. Volunteers and citizen support has always been essential to Midpen's success. So 50 to forever means that these lands with continued public support will be protected in perpetuity. And there's still more work to be done though. There's still that longer lasting work to make sure that we continue to connect these lands to protect the resiliency into the future. 50 years ago, people saw an urgent need to protect vulnerable natural environments and make them accessible to a rapidly growing population along the peninsula. What started out as a small grassroots effort has grown into a well-loved and successful public agency committed to preserving gifts of nature and leaving an extraordinary open space legacy for everyone to enjoy far into the future. These Midpen lands belong to all of us and the generations who will follow. And thankfully, they are in good hands. <laughs>